Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. A moment of great pride, the anthems. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Reminders of a, a golden era in English football, I should add. And it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course. So, with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And, of course, the right service into the box. So we're up and running. Marisic, and it's played forward. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Oh, he's in! Jovetic! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Great leap! Danger averted for now. No, he didn't quite meet it right. And he's there to clear it. Oh, that's neat. And here's Jovetic, has a pop! Good, strong hand by the keeper. Well, I think when you're in that situation, all you can do is, is tip your hat to the keeper because that was fantastic. Battles to win it back. Whipped in. Knocks it away. Cleared away. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Gets into a dangerous position. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Maxim. Looks to clip it forward. It's a brilliant interception.
tries to get it forward quickly. Driving on, a real charge here. Neither side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Just brushed off the ball there. Now a chance to break. Hoists it forward. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Forward it goes. Clears it out of harm's way. Forward it goes. Marosic. Montenegro disappointing in the end there. They lack urgency. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Tries to get it clear. Brought forward. What does he try from here? Tries to dink it in. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. If you have just joined us, you'll be glad to know that you haven't missed a goal. And it's Maxim. He'll hit it! That has certainly tested the keeper. Maxim sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Tries to get it forward quickly. Hoists it forward. And we can get that clear. And it's played forward. And we've reached half time. So the other team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, I think despite the scoreline, it's been watchable and enjoyable. We certainly had a, a vibrant start, and if we were going to see a goal, it, it should have come then. But the odds are favourable for, for this second half. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. So we're just settling back into this second half. Montenegro clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Oh, that's nice. Gets it back, and the counter is on. Tries to get it forward quickly. Plays it out to the flank. Goes direct to the front line. Has he found his man? Maxim. Lovely feet. Hoists it forward, cuts it out, would pass. A 
slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Uh, that was just poor decision-making and a weak execution. And the weighted pass. It's a goal kick. Forward it goes. And it's played forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And here's Jovetic. And he heaves it forward. Shooting chance! <laughs> Battles to win it, hits one! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Romania have found chances hard to come by, so that's perfectly understandable. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Tries to locate someone up front. Knocks it away. Hoists it forward. Pinged forward. Forward it goes. And Jovetic! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. That will annoy the manager. They're making themselves too predictable here. Jovetic looks to dink one in. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. And that's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Tries to get it forward quickly. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Well played, he saw that coming. And it's played forward, done very well to intervene. Just five minutes left. Looking to hit the front line. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Floats one over. Jovetic. Here's the chance to cross. Ball swung in. Tries to get it forward quickly. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. A little cutting edge.